Things are really hotting up in the van conversion sector of the motor market at the moment. And here's one of the newest models. It's the Auto Trail Expedition 67, and it costs just 37,995. Come inside and have a look. Now you can have your Auto Trail Expedition in any color you like, as long as it's black. And there's a reason for that. Auto Trail can keep the costs down by not having to worry about color matching bumpers and wing mirror guards, that sort of thing. Um, if you look closely as well, you'll notice that's uh, silver plastic wheel trims rather than alloy wheels, although they are an option. Inside, I think it's quite impressive. These go down the same production line as any other Auto Trail van conversion. So aspects like the insulation are the same, the panelling is the same. It's only cut back on the actual fittings themselves. Things like there's perhaps one less reading light than you'd expect in the lounge at the back here. So overall, I think it's very impressive. It's Fiat's near ubiquitous Ducato as the standard base vehicle for the Expedition 67, like all other Auto Trails actually. Um, but credit to Auto Trail, it, they've gone for the 140 brake horsepower engine. So you've got a decent turn of speed, decent performance and pretty good economy as well. I'd expect most people to get about 30 to the gallon or more. It's six speed manual as, as standard, but you could have automatic if you want. You could have more powerful engines if you want, but of course that costs more money. There are cutbacks in the cab, admittedly. There's no stereo, you'll have to organize that for yourselves. But you do get things like air conditioning and cruise control as standard. So I think it's a good little package and it's helped keep the costs down. Now here in daytime mode, you've actually got a choice of two seating areas in the Expedition 67. At the back, there are the two inward facing settees, while up front here, easily enough to swivel the cab seats, set up the table with its extension, and what with the travel seat as well, you could easily accommodate four people for meal times. There's good windows all round as well for views out, and it actually took me quite a while to realize, but there's no sunroof overhead. It's that good a decor, I guess. One of the things I really like about this Expedition 67 is how easy it is to make this bed at the back. It's a transverse double and it's a simple matter of pulling out these slats and dropping the cushions in between. Now it's fairly flat. You might want to consider a mattress topper, of course but it's pretty comfortable as well. So um, there you go, comfortable double bed. The kitchen is fairly standard fare for this type of van conversion. A two ring gas hob with a sink in a combined unit in stainless steel, so easy to keep clean. There's a handy worktop extension here. There's a grill as standard. There's also a drawer and three decent sized lockers here, plus an overhead locker. Lighting comes from this little strip light and there's a main socket there and a main socket down below. So a good little kitchen for this type of van. There's more space than you might expect in the washroom here, thanks mainly to a basin that uh, flips up when not needed. So it's flush with the wall in, just inside the door. There's also a mirrored vanity unit and some open shelving. So that leaves a bit of space for using this, the swivel bowl toilet. And there's a shower area with a trigger operated water saving shower. Again, considering this is a budget van, Autotrail haven't held back on certain aspects as much as you might think. Um, lots of good quality details still abound. There's the ambient strip lighting overhead. There are concertina blinds and fly screens to all the side and rear windows. Good quality vinyl flooring. You see the edging to the furniture is all very good quality as well. Um, flat fronted lockers, but they've got easy to operate catches and the lockers themselves are fully lined. 
and indeed storage is particularly good. That's because of the whale hot water and heating systems that are slung underneath, as is a 25 litre gas tank. So that frees up a lot of interior space for storage. I really like the details in this van. Autotrail have kept it basic, but they've kept it, kept it good and practical. So that's the Autotrail Expedition 67. Its keen price is a big eye catcher, no doubt about that. But when you step inside, you really will be impressed.